Alright, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape now for this featherweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started, Ladies we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Black Mamba. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is. Oh! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Blocks that strike. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. You gotta check these low leg kicks.
Blood now trickling down from the eyebrow. That shot cut him. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Punch over the top. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Nice defense there. Huge block. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Big kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. 45 seconds remain in the round. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Back and forth we go! Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Round two straight ahead. Oh. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Nice punch there by Lynn. Sneaky head kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big kick lands. Big body kick. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. That is, oh, man, this dude is good. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Nice kick to the midsection. Lands the right hand. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Nice kick. Big head kick land. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. 
big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Slips. And that punch no good. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Final seconds here of round number two. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Now connects with a right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch, man. Oh, huge head kick. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Good defense to block the strike coming back. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Big kick land. Unable to connect with the right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big kick lands. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. leg kick lands. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Well, he hasn't really 
showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. I mean, look at the commitment to kick him in this fight. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, big punch lands. Just over three minutes now to go. Real sneaky body kick. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, and he caught the kick. Beautiful head kick. Liver kick. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Nice move and punch. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Trying to kick the leg out. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Let me see those kicks. Beautiful body kick. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Nice strike. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Throws the right hand there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Body kick now by Lee. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Losing this fight, if it goes to a decision, you're gonna lose, no doubt. So what are you gonna do about it? All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Right hand on point. Nice kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Looping. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Good thought to try to counter with the kick, but misses on that attempt. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. That's a big strike right there. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. 
He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth the Dragon Lee. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.